I have to see the behind the scenes for this movie. I mean, did you see some of the stunts done in this movie? Come on, this was beautiful. Hey guys, thank you for joining the quest again today. I'm your host Marquise Underwood and today I'll be reviewing Hardcore Henry, a movie that is pretty much a video game on the big screen. And it actually works out somewhat. Really, there's no clear story. I guess you could say the main character is trying to find his wife and save her. But for the most part, you see this movie for the action scenes, and well, they really don't disappoint. A lot of times, I was trying to figure out how they did some of these stunts. Because some of this stuff looked really impossible. Especially with like a GoPro type of camera that they used. And the budget's only like $10 million for this movie, which will probably make back opening weekend. Maybe, you know, maybe next week or so, but I think they'll make it back. But I mean, some of the stunts in this movie are just very phenomenal, and I just don't know how they do it. I mean, especially with some of the sci-fi effects that they did too, it was really spectacular. It felt like they took like a movie short that you know you would put online and made it into a feature long movie. And that's really the feel I got from this movie. No, the protagonist does not talk. Yes, there is some guy that kind of looks like Kurt Cobain with some Magneto type of powers. I actually wish they explained why the hell he's doing the shit that he was doing and how he was doing it. But it's whatever. And I mean, they really do everything good in this movie as far as the action goes. Yes, there is shaky cam, but that's really just because a lot of the times the movie's very fast paced and so it's kind of hard to tell what the hell is going on. And as a factor of that, I actually kind of got like a headache after a while, which I normally don't get headaches and stuff like that. So for this movie to give me a headache, I guess that says something about the movie, but it was still fun to watch and engaging. And I kind of like how they did it with the video game format. I mean, the movie pretty much starts off with the introduction when you learn the tools and the buttons to press and all that stuff in order to survive in this world. Then you get to your action piece where you actually put those tools into use. And along the way you get your GPS tracker telling you where to go and what to do and you keep fighting and all that stuff. And it was really like a video game. I felt like each set piece was like another stage, another level. And I felt like every time you got to like the end of a level or so, there would be like a boss fight type of thing and it kept happening and I really liked that part of the story and I thought it was cool. There is like a little bit of a twist in the movie I guess it is very predictable but I mean it was still cool to see it kind of reminded me of uh, some simple games that I played before when I was younger so I thought it was really cool. I would say if you're a fan of video games you should check this out, fan of action movies you should check this out. This was a lot gorier and bloody than I thought it was going to be especially for like a uh, an indie movie so I was kind of surprised by that but it didn't take me back. I will say go into it with caution for the simple fact that don't expect a story. I don't know why you were going to the movie expecting one but don't expect a story. Maybe you'll get a little bit of nausea. I know I didn't but I definitely got a headache and as a person I do not get headaches. This definitely you know kind of messed with my mind a little bit. I had to go right to sleep before I came home after seeing this movie just because this headache was killing me that bad. But I mean, I would watch the movie again. I'd probably pick it up on Blu-ray. And I think it's worth your time if you're into one of the two things I say. So I'm giving this movie a B minus. I'm giving it a 3 out of 5. I thought it was a fun little ride. Maybe a hidden gem of the year or so. I mean, I don't really see much leeway as far as, you know, maybe it'll become like a forgettable thing, like a gimmick. But I wouldn't mind seeing this style used in like a horror movie or anything like that. I think the POV thing, yes, it's hard to do. And yes, it's hard to, you know, sit there and watch it for a long time, but I feel like if it's done right in certain genres, it can kind of work well. I just don't want to see it done to the point like found footage and stuff like that. So, have you seen Hardcore Henry? If you have, comment below and I want to know. Did you like this movie? Did you get the video game vibe that I got? Did you like how they progressed the character with the different levels and stuff like that? If you know you want to hit the like buttons for this video, you want to hit the subscribe button for this channel. And do me a big favor. You know, follow me on you know, social media, Reddit, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, all that fun stuff. And do me a favor and join the quest.